What's up, what's up guys? It's Evenimus here, and today I'm going to make a review of my favorite weapon, the Ranger. Now, I have it at power level 74, Malachite to be specific. See, it's three stars, level 25. And I want to tell you why it's my favorite assault rifle. The best place to check the base stats for you for your weapons would be in the collection book. That is if you don't have them leveled, of course. If we look down here under the assault rifles category and double shot rifles, we can see the trooper, which is the epic version of the ranger. The ranger, the weapon I'm reviewing today, we can see its base stats by clicking preview item. Critical hit chance is 15%. The critical hit damage is 75%. It's got a fairly decent fire rate of 10.67, although it is considered burst since it's two round burst, yet it's more of a semi-auto weapon since you tap multiple times per second to hit that fire rate. We can see it's got a very meh magazine size of 30 and a good range for an assault rifle of 5,120. It's got the normal durability of 375 and a fairly lengthy reload time of 2.7. We can see its base impact of 72, which for an assault rifle, you look at the Siege Breaker, it's got 59. And if we look at the Razor Blade, or the Razor Wire in this case, that's 69, so assuming it'd be about 70-ish, 70 75 for the Razor Blade. If we look at the LMGs, we can see it's got 68. The Hammer Crush has a much higher of 225, but that's because it shoots much slower and shoots much harder rounds, the shotgun shells. We can see it's got a pretty decent impact compared to the non-leveled and the leveled version of the other assault rifle weapons. The Ranger is perfectly built for a crit build. You can see the already decently high crit damage and the decently high crit chance. 15% is quite high for most weapons. Uh, the highest there is is for the Silent Spectre at 20. If we scroll all the way down to the Blockbuster event, see it's got 20% crit chance and 75% crit damage that's why it's perfect for a crit build but 15 is higher than most if not all of the other assault rifles we look here the siege breaker it's got 10% crit damage I mean crit chance and then 50% crit damage can look back here at the burst rifles this one's got 10 and 50 terminators got 10 and 50 the Hammer Crush has 1575. It's another weapon I plan on building in the future because I'm quite interested in it, to be honest. And if we look here at the Hunter Killer, 15 and 75, the same as the Ranger. The Surgical Rifles, 15, and if we subtract 45 from 120, that's 75. So, yet again, another perfectly built crit weapon. And the Death Ray, 10 and 50. Now, if we look at my Ranger, we can see a few different things. Firstly, I have it set to be an energy weapon, as they're my favorite, to be honest. The physical weapons are the best against the normal husks, but that's not most of what you fight. Aside from blasters and takers, everything else is normally in some kind of element. So energy is the best for all if you don't want to have multiple weapons such as frost, fire, or nature. Uh, we can see that I've got very high crit damage in the gold slot there. I've got damage to miss monsters and bosses. Reload speed to counter that long reload speed that we've seen of 2.7. And critical rating. If we click upgrade and inspect we can see with max crit rating we've got 43 percent crit chance which should be about one in every two bullets on average will be a critical hit 
we've got a critical hit damage of 210 percent 75 plus 135 is 210 and we've got a fairly average damage of 800 then we've got 1401 for our headshot damage with our 75 percent headshot multiplier and we can see the reload time has been cut nearly in half to 1.7 the impact has been increased to 222 which if we compare it to the swan which is another fairly popular rifle at this moment in time we've got 220 so it's got slightly higher than the swan but if we look here this one's got slightly higher damage then again it does have a damage perk so it would probably be more like a thousand damage per shot and then a thousand five hundred on headshots but if we look back the ranger can see it's got a faster fire rate and on top of that it's got a longer range which is one of the key reasons why the ranger is my favorite Now to see the weapon as all of you will see it because not everyone will run a soldier or urban assault or some sort of damage buff to their assault rifles we're going to be using guardian penny she's rare so she's not very strong but if you scroll down her abilities you see nothing boosting assault rifles or their critical damages we can see bloodfinder ac who's giving us harvesting damage which isn't much of a problem and trailblazer AC who's giving us more movement speed on floors so we know that we won't have any buff damage and we'll be able to see the weapons potential for everyone we're going to go ahead and hop into a private game uh, as you can see I've got an 889 offense te tech score so we can see what it will be for an average canny player as well as that we're going to be playing on this build the radar grid mission it's got schematic xp and you can see there are no buffs to assault rifles See there, a pretty good example of the range. It's not too far, but decently far for an assault rifle. Looks like we were able to find some blasters, so we can see this perk in action, the damage to miss monsters and bosses. It seemed like I was able to take him out pretty fast. I was pretty satisfied with that at least, and felt nice doing it. <laughs> I was able to find a storm chest, so let's clear up a little bit and see how fast we can do with the ranger.
the game. Jesus Christ, I was a little bit cancer, if I do say so myself. Don't see why every single one of them had shielders, and why they were all spawning directly on me, but that works. Now we'll go into an actual mission and complete it, a four player mission that will need the firepower, but we're going to be using Shock Trooper Renegade. He's got advanced tactics since he's a soldier with range weapon increased damage. He's got debilitating shots and lingering pain when stacked with knee capper. That's five shots, one vulnerability for 9% each. So that's a 45% increase in damage as well as our 10% increased ranged weapon damage. And we've also got Waste Not Want is increases ammo capacity of ranged weapons by 40%. We'll also be using Sanguine Dusk. Mine is not three stars, but I'm working on it. I'm using her in the support squad so that she can give her energized bonus since our Weapon is energy, it will be given a 15% increase to energy damage. As well as that, we'll be using Quick Draw Calamity. She's got explosive rounds, so she will, after 10 kills, let us have a 946.8 damage explosion in a one tile radius. It works pretty well in groups. Since you saw that my heroes are pretty low level, we're going to be doing this Fight the Category 3 Storm. Uh, going to be playing for the Hero XP, and if we check the mission info, we can see it's a Firestorm. And there will be a mini boss that we can show the weapon against.
15. You can see we're easily able to top the combat score for this mission. The other people didn't really commit all that much. To conclude, the pros of this weapon are that it's got amazing crit stats. It's very accurate, even at long ranges, but especially when standing still. And it can kill mist monsters very quickly. The cons to this weapon are that it consumes lots of ammo. Particularly medium ammo, which is used for all of the popular weapons at this moment in time. It's inaccurate when hit firing, especially when strafing, so you can't really hit fire this weapon at all. It's got sort of a low base damage, although the amazing crit stats make up for that. And it's got high XP and perk up cost. And by that, I mean to have this weapon be effective, it's got to be a decent level. But then again, that goes for every weapon. This weapon won't be able to make use of its crit stats, however, if you don't put any perk up into it like I have. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.